Hello, are everybody. You this first? is okay. It just cut me off as I did my intro. That's funny. Okay. Eat some. Hello, YouTube. This is the Game Loser One <laughs> alongside MK1 Gaming. MK1 Gaming, do your intro. Hey guys, I'm Kevin Gaming here, and it has been a while, huh? It has been oh, a while man. for me too, aka a month. It has been a long while. This is not technically my return, this is just an update video on what am I doing, when am I going to come back. I finally know I'm going to come back, I'm just going to straight up say it right now. I'm coming back when the Not A Hero DLC comes out for Resident Evil, because I'm waiting that for so goddamn long. Um, just wanted to say that right now, this, if you want a really quick answer, that's what it is, but I'll get more into what I'm going to do when I return, because I've been having long and hard thoughts and yeah it's gonna happen so long and hard thoughts huh long and hard thoughts yep mm -hmm. that's some interesting thoughts um, there long and hard thoughts yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right <laughs> um what am i exactly gonna do when i return uh like i said before all those ideas said and when i uh the break video the jar jar trolling videos the hitler videos of course i'm gonna do jar jar is already a thing now i'm doing it uh, I recorded some of it on my PS4, but the the videos caught a error. What are those called again? When it's uh, I forgot what it's called. Like I have, I have no. <laughs> like when it gets infected, it, it gets infected. They it's caught an error. Corrupted, corrupted. That's what it's called. Virus. Corrupted. And oh, the video, okay. yeah. <laughs> the video got corrupted, about. and so a lot of it got deleted. I'm really, really mad about. However, I got a lot of other videos I have recorded, and you're probably thinking right now, wait, you were recording when you were taking a break. I'm like, well, it's only two. It's two buttons on my PS4 to record, so it's really not that hard. So that's why. I yeah, do he that. decided to stop editing videos now. No, I'm. Oh, I I'm, did though. Finally convince him to get Sony Vegas today. So finally now. Yep, I finally yeah, Sony got Sony Vegas. Vegas. Really edit videos. Boy was using Windows Movie Maker before this. <laughs> By the way, not dissing on Windows Movie Maker. I'm not gonna lie. That's how we all started. I started with Windows Movie Maker. He. Just stopped using Windows Movie Maker. And for some reason, I have more subscribers than you. I don't know why. Because I've been out way longer than you. Yep. And you MK, don't... explain why I have you, why you have been out, and yeah, because I don't really have much more to say. I, sir, have been out because I am I'm lazy. <laughs> okay. And I wanted actually the legit reason though is um. Uh, I've been in a long process right now of saving up money and saving for a new computer. A actual, you know, professional, nice computer and stuff. And my computer's trash. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm running on a $400 laptop, like 8 gigs of RAM. And it's got a, it's got a quad-core processor, but it's 1.8 gigahertz, so it can't run any. I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. Uh, 8, gig of, 8, 8 gigs of RAM is pretty okay. It's got a 1 terabyte hard drive that I originally thought that was, oh, hey, that's pretty good. And so I realized it's probably like 5,200 RPM, mm -hmm. which also kind of sucks. And it's uh, an AMD uh, APU, so it's integrated graphics. So that also kind of sucks. I don't even know what the integrated APU is. I don't know what the graphics part of it is. Oh, all I know is that it's pretty trash. <laughs> By the way, to my viewers, it's not very good. If you don't know what but, he's saying, but, 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 but. he's a computer guy, so that's why I just gotta say it to my viewers right now. Yeah, I, I love computers. He's, and that's he's why teaching I'm me really... to build a computer, which I'm gonna get into that. In yeah, second. I'm trying to get him to build his own computer to also improve because he's also running on a. Not to diss you, Steven, but I think you've even said it before. You're running on a pretty crappy laptop. <laughs> I am so. running on a pretty crappy laptop. So already though, legit, I have two parts to my computer. So I'm gonna fix the RPM problem that I had in this computer. So I got a 480 gigabyte SSD from ADD plus a one terabyte hard drive from Mustard Digital. And this is my piece de resistance right now. Uh, Zotac GTX 1080. I'm ecstatic about that. I got also, I just ordered all the final parts today. I'll actually pull up the stuff just so we can read them off, and then we can talk about your computer a little bit, Stephen. Yep. I guess we're. Don't worry, fellas. Don't worry, viewers. I will. Uh, I will help you decipher exactly what it is. Cause I'm pretty sure Stephen. Oh, by the way, guys, you cannot see his face cam. Computers. You cannot see his face cam here. So if you guys don't know what's going on, basically he's showing off his 1080, aka the. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not showing it. I'm not. I'm not showing. Oh, you didn't show it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That's... Right, right, right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, no, but if they want to, they can come check out MK1 Gaming's channel where I do have my face cam yep. on. Link and in you can see my T. You can see my, my red lamp. Wow, I'm really bad. I got my finger. You can see my red lamp, my white lamp, my TV, 
my Rubik's Cube box, my piano, dog, my closet, dog, me, you, a noose. Just kidding, that's some rope right there. Some Actually, I don't even know if I have rope out. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I have a Zotac GTX 1080 Amp Edition, and I have an ADATA 480 gigabyte SSD for anyone who wants to look it up themselves or if you want to come to my channel to see it. Uh, next thing that's up, I just ordered all the parts today, by the way. So, oh, and I have Prime, so they should be coming. Most of them are coming in to uh, by Sunday. By the way, this is Friday, March 17th, I believe. Yeah, as the video is recorded, Friday, March 17th. Yeah. Friday, March 17th, 822 p.m. at the moment. And so all my stuff should be coming on Sunday. That would besides the motherboard and the RAM, which says it's coming on Tuesday because that's not prime. Still got free shipping on it though for four days. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, what my computer includes, I'll go over the two peripherals I also ordered later, but First off, what I have is the Zotac 1080 and the 480 gigabyte SSD. Next up, I have a, I have my case, which is the Corsair 460X from the Crystal lineup, I believe it was. I have an EVGA, what was this one again? It's the power supply, EVGA 650 watt Supernova, that's what it was, 80 plus gold, fully modular. I have a Western Digital one terabyte hard drive. I have from the new KB Lake lineup from Intel, I have the i7-7700K since I want to do gaming and video editing. Also, one thing that if anyone else wants to build a computer out here, if you're building a gaming computer and you're not doing video editing, don't bother with an i7, get an i5. That's perfect for gaming. i7s are better for gaming and video editing. Personally, that's what I think, but you know. Mm -hmm. um, I have a Wi-Fi chip from TP-Link, it's nice. I, I don't know all the specs about Wi-Fi. I don't get into that, but all I know is it can do way better than what I have. It does like half a gigabyte per second of data. So uh, I have a 240 millimeter liquid cooler for my CPU from a company called Up Here Technology. It's actually really nice. I managed to find it for $65, and the only bad reviews on it is that it doesn't have an AMD um, bracket for the AMD motherboards. Sucks for you, AMD users. I'm an Intel user. I can use this thing. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Well, uh, shuts, and then I just have... Shuts down the entire company. A, shuts down AMD right there. So they're just like, so okay, the stuff just rusted us. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Bye. All right. Time to close it. This, this 29 subscriber YouTube channel. Just, just shut our company down. Uh, for the motherboard, I have the new MSI Pro Series Intel Z270 motherboard. It's the SLI version, not the SLI Pro. Uh, for RAM, I found these awesome ones that I really like from a company called Evixer, which I believe is actually a company that's been getting more popular in the past year or two. Just 16 gigs of Evixer RAM. I have the, the Evixer Core in blue, so it lights up, which I thought was really cool. I like that. I have a few LED strips for inside the case just to make sure it looks real nice. And for peripherals, I got a mechanical keyboard with blue switches from a company called Eagle Tech. It's, it's black aluminum with the blue backlighting. Mm -hmm. And then for my mouse, I got the um, the Logitech Proteus Core, I believe it was. Yeah, Proteus Core, G502 Proteus Core. That's what it was from Logitech. And yeah, that's pretty much my computer. Wow. See, guys, I told you he is a master at this. He's a master at his craft. I don't say master, but I am. I am. I do love computers. He knows a lot, a lot about computers. He's been helping me build one, and I have the part list right up here. Uh, and I got. Let me just, let me just list them off. Processor. All right. Please. The processor is Intel Core. Oh, shit. Intel Core i3 7100 3.9 gigahertz. Me, just, Intel Core just processor. Say it, just say it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not good at this. Uh, I, he has like you know short names for this. Do you, do, you, do you, I have I have the thing. Do you want me to read it off for you? Just don't go into like deep description. Just just name them off. 
just I'm not going to go into detail. <laughs> what you just did was going into detail. Like, <laughs> listing the gigahertz, the cores, all of that. Just like call it the i three seventy one. Guys, I'm not good at this, but I'm I'm sure he could do a better yeah. job. He's he's new to he's new to uh, computers, and since he's all about YouTube, and he's probably in the past few months, I'd say he's definitely more into it than I am because he's been definitely on top of the ball. I haven't. My Which I'm all there. Reese, about, that's why I but, took my break because of the, I, all that. I just called my my entire 29 person fan base. Uh, um, man, just I addressed it. it was like, yeah, man. <laughs> my entire fan base is just a man. Just one man. Just one man. Me. <laughs> the one man fan base. I'm your fan base. All right, next. So let's see. Uh, hold on, let me pull up this. There it is. All cool, right. Cool so Master for Hyper. his CPU. So your CPU, he's got the i3-7100, which a lot of people like to down-talk i3s for gaming, but legit, dude, it's 3.9 gigahertz, and it's hyper-threaded, so it acts as a quad-core processor. So, I mean, that's yep. I, I wouldn't complain. Um, he has an ASRock B250M Pro 4 uh, motherboard, LJ1-1151. Okay, just one skip my cooler, that's cool. The cooler, uh, I'm on the phone, so it puts cooler all the way at the bottom. Why? I don't know. For G skill or for RAM, he has the G skill Aegis eight Aegis. You don't, don't, even, you don't even know how to say it. <laughs> I don't know. This is my RAM. I don't care. <laughs> He's got eight gigs of that. He's got a Toshiba hard drive. I actually might recommend. I might change that on your list to a Western Digital hard drive because they're the same price, and I, well, I just like Western Digital more. I think they're more reliable. He's got uh, EVGA 1063 gigabyte. Mm -hmm. uh, case is simple. It's just a DIY PC solo T1R with red fans. He's got a 450 watt EVGA bronze certified power supply. Another He also has a TP-Link um, Wi-Fi card. And for his CPU cooler, he's got a Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED CPU cooler with PWM fan. Four direct contact heat pipes, unique blade design, and red LEDs. <laughs> the problem with the red LEDs, you're not going to be able to see them because my case is not see-through, but it looks cool, so I'm getting it. It's got a tiny little, like, grate. It doesn't have a window, but it's got, like, a grate where I think you could put a fan also. So yeah. you should be able to see, like, a little bits of red light. We'll, we'll see when I get them out, I guess. Plus, you got the red lights coming out the front. You got True. the red lights coming out in the front, I think that's True, all yeah, it, the red lights know. look really dope. And we also added in a monitor for him because he already has a monitor, but it's not 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So to have to screen record with that would be a little hard. The size is weird. So we decided, way. yeah, the aspect ratio. For people, my viewers, the so, size is weird. So uh, what I recommend, we're also adding a, a monitor to Sing, which is by a company called Scepter. Scepter. And it's the E... The E... 22 5w and it's a 22 inch 1080p monitor which isn't bad it's 95 bucks and finally and actually i think it's cheaper hold on we got the wi-fi adapter yeah it's actually 80 dollars what are you serious i already said wi-fi man huh. you have been listening to me man i already said <laughs> wi-fi wait you really said yeah, the okay. wi-fi yeah, I already said the Wi-Fi. I said he's oh, I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I, I didn't know you said the Wi-Fi. I, <laughs> I thought you didn't say the Wi-Fi. I was listening. I just probably even didn't. you're gonna be punished for this. No, I sentence you to death for not listening to me. Just loses all my subscribers. My subscribers <laughs> fly away. No, you're you're quickly. Such a everyone, friend. everyone, subscribe and subscribe from Steven's channel really fast, so that way he loses. Oh, well, they, no, they, you know they, they got rid of that glitch, 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 whatever it's called, glitch, right? Shut up, YouTube, bring it back, bring you, bring it back, so that way I can kill Steven's channel. So I can finally have more subscribers than him. So that way you can have more subs. <laughs> um, to be brutally honest about my subscribers, like it doesn't really matter how big the number is. Like my, fr I hear of like Scenic or. Uh, Spoomer saying, "Oh, man, I, I just bragged about how I have more subscribers than you for like ten minutes, but you know it doesn't matter, man. It's all okay." Yeah, I just wanted. I, it's just a joke, actually. Um, to be honest, I don't really care about numbers. I just care about entertaining people. You know? Same, man. I, I just all about that. Me. It's all about making people happy. That's what I this love is. making people happy. That's the point of what I'm gonna go get back. It's also about making serious. <laughs> to, it's seriously about me. To be brutally. <laughs> To be brutally honest, at first I came in like, okay, I'm just doing YouTube to get moolah. But now I'm like, 
this has actually gotten at the point where I'm like, I just want to entertain people now. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, you know, it's not like we're at around like 30 and 35 subs ish. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it's like, what? You're 36 now? Yeah. I had 37, but one, I lost a subscriber. Thus, the reason why I made this video, I'm kidding. Still uh, <laughs> but come back to me. Come back to me. I always stay active. <laughs> All right. So, like, seriously, though, I know it's probably not going to happen because, you know, that's such a rare chance with all the other bigger YouTubers out there. Yeah, but you, There's not a lot of people who go for smaller ones. That, but still, if, if this could become a job, if YouTube could become a job, that would be the coolest thing. That would be the, well, like, the coolest thing. It technically can. No, I know it can become a job. It's just a lot harder than like some like PewDiePie, who you know he's the biggest gaming YouTuber. He's the biggest YouTuber period on the site, and he started when there were like no Let's Players or no gamers on YouTube, so he had a good start. He had no competition. Now we have hundreds of thousands of people in competition. There's other small and big channels who do tons of better gaming content than us. So. But but dude, you have to remember that one day those YouTubers are gonna, are gonna stop one day. They will. You know that, right? Maybe. I mean. Yeah, one of them. One day if, they, if have they to stop. play games for. I mean, if they play games for a living, and they literally just sit around and play games and edit videos, and they make like PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye or whatever, they make millions of dollars a year. And I don't really see why they'd stop. It's literally like because they probably play games in their free time. And they're probably just thinking like, eh, why don't I just you know slap on a recording software and just make money off of this. <laughs> This is true. Legit though, like I, I would love to turn YouTube into a job. That would be the coolest thing ever. I just want to make. Oh, you out. know what I should probably mention? I have glasses, by the way. Yeah, I, I last video I ever made was back in like October. We're right now March, and I didn't have glasses back then. And I got glasses like November. A lot of shit can <laughs> change, been, guys. It's been, it's been a long time. Once again, if it's you want to see really MK's long. part of this, just go in the link in the description. You'll see him. Yeah, come You'll check out my channel. Unsub from Steven and sub to my channel. <laughs> or sub to both of us. Let's all be happy, please. You know what? I Wait, wait. Uh, just, just to point out how much time it's been, there is a point. So I left the channel with, like, um, I originally started my channel back in summer of 2015. Then I deleted all the content and restarted because I just wasn't happy with it. Wait, what was your first content? And that my first content was, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't what I thought but, but, was good. Was and <laughs> I had like a Happy Wheels video. I did Akinator. I did, oh. uh, I did a voice changer where I had to, ch no, no, not a voice changer. The, the thing where like puts your voice on a delay and you had to try and read things. So, but it made you read them weird. Mm -hmm. It was like funny, but you know, I was a lot younger. I was like. Well, yeah, two years younger, that would be. And mm. it just... Mm. <laughs> Did I, I had a higher-pitched voice. I had the weird haircut. I had the rounder face. You know, it just wasn't... It wasn't a good equation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I just... I just, you know, let's forget about the past. Let's not bring up those memories. <laughs> it just... Delete, 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 delete. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> just ended up. Uh, uh, yeah, so that was originally what happened. And I had this original, uh, logo, which was just my half my face with like a blue background, like, you know, the little square logo <laughs> and it was one gaming above me. <laughs> and for the second version of my channel, when I sort of revived the channel, I did the same thing where I had my headphones on half my face, one eyebrow raised, except it was an orange background. Faces in black and white, MK1 gaming above me. That's the last thing, that's the last version of my channel I was ever active. I revamped it again in either late November, early December ish. And I put all that up. I put up the banner, I put up the, the image, I updated my Instagram photo and stuff like that and all of that. Yeah. Not a single video was uploaded during that time. And now I'm at the fourth like version look of my channel. And. I'm finally making a video. So I completely skipped version three. Like, that was irrelevant. <laughs> that just, for all we care, that doesn't exist. Okay, then. <laughs> it's just not there. I just, it's just weird to think that I was, I tried to be active at some points, but, you know, it's just, it's just hard. 
laziness. It, it was just, it was just, I wasn't feeling it because I, I still, it's it's because of Steven right now that I'm actually recording this video. I was not planning on recording a video until after I got the computer later this week. And I wanted to come back with a bang, you know, like full 60 FPS, 1080p, all that, instead of, you know, 720p, 30 FPS, all that. This is more of a celebration so, event for you, to be honest. They finally got it. Uh, that I finally came back since October. <laughs> it's been, how many months is that? That's November, December, January, February. That's four months in between. Jesus. I guess five if you count the days in October, I mean, the ones I've used in March so far. Yeah. It's been about five months since I've been away. Almost half a year. That's pretty crazy to think. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I really needed to come back quickly. Thank god. Speaking yeah. of revamping so, channels, um, yeah. my channel's been revamped twice only. You said your channel's been revamped four fucking times? <laughs> yeah, and well, the, well, the very... The original one was I just deleted all of that. I deleted all the videos, all the content. I trashed the outro and all that. And oh yeah, I also made two new outros too. I made everything. Dude. I didn't even use the outro from version three. I completely redid the channel after that one too. So all that work I put in, because I'm not gonna lie, making an outro, it it genuinely takes like two hours to make the outros that I do. Like it, it's not easy. Wow. And I and I just trashed it. It's not going to be used anymore. There's, it just it's irrelevant. <laughs> I put so I put hours into work to do something, and I just eh. just didn't do it. Just, eh, just the On top design. of that, I wasn't a fan of the, f the song that I used in the outro. I just wasn't a fan of it. It was like sort of compromised. I was looking at a whole bunch of uh, non copyright music because I got a copyright not a strike but like a copyright notice ID claim on one of my videos. Yeah, for the outro song I was using, the the one I think it's called like Arcade Savant Arcade 2013 or something. I forgot. Like, something like that. We're gonna turn it down, 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 down. whatever. Hey, like the stuff I was using. My, you're gonna get my video copyright. Oh god, no! I'm gonna get a copyright strike. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Anyway, so I after that I was looking for a non copyright music. Cause then I realized, oh wow, this can actually, yeah, this is this sucks. <laughs> I don't want to get copyright strikes. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't, but I don't want to keep going with that to the point where I get copyright strikes because that's not good, especially when you're a channel this small. You don't want to, you know, ruin everything before you've even really started. <laughs> so um, I found another I found a channel that just gives you non copyrighted music and I picked a song. I, I found like three songs I really liked. I listened to them over and over again, all three of them until I really was like, yeah, this is the one that I like out of these. And. I just kept listening to the outro. I'm just like, it just doesn't... F I'm not feeling that song. So, wow. I wasn't a fan of the outro. Especially the the actual outro itself wasn't all that great either. I wasn't a fan of that. So, I did my fourth and maybe maybe final. I'm not promising anything. Because I actually kind of like going into Photoshop and Sony Vegas and creating a whole bunch of new stuff. It's fun, but, you know... So now I have this one here with the circle, the blue circle with the orange MK1 gaming banner and the squiggly blue, orange, and tan, whatever, yellow in the background. I like that color scheme. And the new, I found this uh, dude called Pro Leader, who I actually, I found out I loved his songs. Like he does this, um, this genre called Electro Swing, which was really good and I was into it. And so I found a few of his songs. I turned out that his songs are used for a few other famous YouTubers. Like I think um, it's like Jelly uses it. Um, what's that? What's that one Minecrafter dude? That's that's uh, logo is literally just a pair of eyeballs and a mustache. Do you know who I'm talking? I, I don't watch Minecraft YouTubers. Talking about. So I have I have no clue. I never watched Minecraft. No, I don't. I haven't watched them. In it's been a while, but I just remember that's actually where I found this, the pro leader. I was going through like my suggested list, and I just came across that dude doing I forgot what video, but um, yeah, the mustache and the eyes. And he had a, one song for his intro and one song for his outro. So I started looking at pro leader songs, I started looking at which ones were already used by YouTuber. Which there were a lot of good ones, but I just pushed them away because I'm not gonna. I don't want to copy anyone. And I found this 
other song by Pearl Leader that I saw was not used by any YouTubers, and I thought it was really good. Uh, I forgot which one it was called, but uh, I, I honestly forgot what it was called. But it's I like it. That's all I know is that it's a good song. <laughs> it just sounds good. <laughs> it just sounds see really if I can good. Find it. Actually, I'll worry about that later. I'll yeah. put it in the description. But uh, yeah, so finally, I, I came. I came to this one, this new style for my channel that I actually, I actually enjoy. I like it a lot. I, I thought the visuals before for my third version that I never really put to use too much. I thought they were pretty nice, but I don't know, Stephen. What did you say about it when you saw it the first time? When I showed you, you were just like, it's got a really '80s vibe, especially with the new outro song and everything. Yeah, it was actually got a really. I thought it was pretty good. But, uh, like funky vibe to it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it was, it, it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I was really happy to finally get, you know, everything back into motion. And now that the computer's coming, that's gonna be pretty much right there is gonna be where everything starts flowing back. Mm -hmm. So once I build that computer, and once Kingwin gives me my freaking right. Windows 10 Pro key. I still haven't got my email for that. <laughs> wow. I paid 34 bucks for that, and I still have not gotten my email for the Windows 10 key. You should actually <laughs> probably look up into that after this podcast. No, no, but I was talking, I was actually talking to Brady, though. He also did some things on those um, secondhand shops where the people sell keys and stuff, and he says it takes like 24 to 48 hours. Oh, my God. So, and it's like... Yeah, yeah, it takes a while, but I mean, my PC parts aren't coming until 48 hours anyways or more. True. So it's not like it matters too, too much, but it, it'll be here in time. If everything is correct, it should be here in time for the PC anyway, so. Right. There. All right. Well, I've rambled on enough. What about you, Steven? You got anything to say? Uh, yeah. Speaking of outros and everything, due to the fact that now I have Sony Vegas, I'm going to make an outro. Just kidding. Uh, MK is actually going to make an outro for me because I kind of suck at it. So, uh. That's what's I want to teach him, but legit, I, I've convinced so many people to get Sony Vegas on their computers, you know, for YouTube and stuff like that. Because, uh, like, Brady, uh, one of, I actually got to talk to Scenaric a few times in the time that I was out. I got to speak to him on uh, Skype with Steven and stuff like that. Scenaric, by the way, if you're watching this, you're a dope dude. I bet you're he's cool not going to watch this, but, you know. I bet he's not going to watch this, but, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I convinced Scenery and I helped him get Sony Vegas in. So, Steven, uh, do you want to talk about the story or should I talk about the story? I'll do it. On why you were you, so you, skeptical. You, you could take a take a break. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, if you guys remember, I was out due to my PC being broken, if anybody remembers that. Um, and everyone's asking, how the hell did it get a virus? Well, not everyone because nobody watches my shit anyway. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, if, if people are wondering how did it ever happen, uh, well, here's what happens. I think this is just a theory by me. So I was going to download Sony Vegas and as I was doing the steps, I might have done the step wrong and then I caught a virus into my hard drive and it probably just destroyed my entire hard drive and killed my PC. But, um, uh, MK, when I got my new PC, he told me to do it cause he thought I did too wrong, which I probably did. I was like, no, I'm not doing it because I feel like I'm gonna get the virus again. And remember, I was, Steven, I was Steven. completely clueless. So I got it. What if, what if your computer just like turns off mid, like mid sentence, mid podcast? This it breaks again, like mid podcast. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I'll kill you if that happens. I swear to God, if it's, if it's there's, no, there's no ev there's no evidence that I convinced you to get Sony Vegas this time. Oh God, no. There's no evidence. You can't charge me. <laughs> I can't be arrested. I am not guilty. Um, <laughs> so yeah, now but I I was like okay, you know what? I do it, but if my PC breaks, then I don't I don't, I don't know anymore. So I got it, and it worked. I I just told him I looked at it and I said, um, yeah, well, it's a good reason for your mom to get you the new PC that I <laughs> told you about. And now I'm getting a new uh, outro and everything. Hopefully, I get my channel revamped and. Not revamp. Actually, no. I'm not gonna get my channel revamped. I'm gonna keep. I love the logo that MK made me because he. Right, you just say revamped. Did I? I thought I said revamped. You just said. 
I, yes, I, I, I'm gonna I revamp my channel. Vaped. I will revamp my channel. Same color as my backgrounds, but no. Um, I will not re revamp my channel. I've decided not to because the logo you made was so cool. The first ever logo I made was literally a red circle with a GL1 in it. GL1 with a marker circle around. Not even <laughs> nothing had to do nothing with lizards either. Just it was it, it was terrible. And a lot of you don't know this, but my first ever video was actually a WWE live stream, which I ended up deleting because it was just really boring. Because me and Boomer were just playing around, but we had nothing. And look at me now with the WWE videos. Now we have horses clashing with jokers and um, a lot of WWE videos which I recorded on my PS4, which I think you guys are going to really enjoy, which I can't wait to bring my WWE series back. So... That's gonna also, be if, anyone's one, if anyone is wondering about the pictures on my podcast, one, you see, obviously, there's the gaming literature one. Yeah, then there's podcasts on the top. Yeah, that makes sense. But if there's, if you're wondering why there's a Mountain Dew or Kool-Aid Man or the oh. guy from Happy Wheels in the wheelchair, Kool one, Kool-Aid Kool -Aid Man is Steven. Steven is the Kool-Aid Man. I'm he cool can man. tell you about that story later. Mountain Dew, uh, the story behind that is actually I was – just on Photoshop, and I was trying to make some funny photos, and I tried to make one out of Mountain Dew, and that weird, messed up creation came that, out with a that bunch of parts cropped out. out. The abortion came out. That's a little harsh, my dude. <laughs> That's a Mountain Dew. That's a little far <laughs> there. Yeah, but that uh, that Mountain Dew came out, so um, I used the Mountain Dew right there just because I thought it looked funny, and then then I just wanted an angry old man yelling in my corner. All right. Yeah. That's her dream I, just want an angry, I just wanted an angry old hobo man to yell in the corner of my video. Just in the corner of my room. And then there's me in the other corner. It actually looks like he's yelling at me or the Kool-Aid man. I can't tell. I just realized his eyes are going two different ways. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you call me dark. <laughs> what? Why? Is, what? Why is there an old man? I told I, I just said that his eyes are in two different directions. You just, you called Mountain Dew an abortion. <laughs> How is that was mind dark? Well, with your you with your mouth, you just basically threw it out. So I'm like, okay, it's an abortion. So, okay, it's more so it's a mistake. That's exactly what it is. You might want to talk, shut your mouth before the the SJWs call you a Nazi oh. and shut down your YouTube oh my channel. God. No, and the Wall Street Journal starts harassing you. <laughs> And then they cancel season two of Scare Steven. <laughs> Scare Steven. If you don't know my real Scare name, Scare Gaming by Lizard way. One. Um, yeah. speaking of Kool Aid Man. Oh wait, way. did they not know that? Have you not? Have you not mentioned that at all? The what? My name's Steven. Did I just reveal your secret identity to the world? No, actually, in previous videos, a lot of you guys call me Steven, but well, yeah. no I've, one's gonna call you Gaming Lizard One. But if you guys personally. didn't know. I'm saying that right now. But speaking of Kool-Aid, man, I want to say this. Um, I thought really long and hard over the break, and I've decided um, there's not many Kool-Aid-related things I'm going to do, so I just decided I'm going to bring back Town of Salem. It's not my most popular series, but it has Kool-Aid, man, and I love Kool-Aid, man, so I'm bringing it back. And hopefully I can bring more funny... I think I'm going to edit them this time without, you know, just making it a long, boring video of who wins. So I'm going to try to edit them this time, and... You know. For the record, I'm not playing Town of Salem. Him and Brady, aka Brady Dipug, convinced me to play one time with them. I hated that game so much. It was so you boring. Had, I died had... the first round, that's why. Dude. Even still, it's literally you just like talk and chat and then you watch your people walk out and walk back into houses. It gets funner. Like seriously. Like, trust me, I was the same as you. I was like, I hate this game with a passion, but as I played it more, it just it just got so funny. You just had to find it. The reason why I like it because of Kool-Aid Man. That's the only reason why I still play it. Because I, I play it as Kool-Aid Man. I get people to laugh in the game. You know, they love it when I'm Kool-Aid Man. Um, you know, I'm just saying like... You know what? Vitamin I'm going to be your biggest rival. I'm going to be your biggest rival. I'm going to come in. I'm going to be a Hawaiian punch kid. Be Capri Sun. <laughs> Please be a Capri Sun. Capri Sun. <laughs> Capri Sun, man. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Um, Big lizard on a scooter drinking a Capri Sun. Brady loves it because Brady's more... I guess he's more into those games. Are Brady's so toned down with his games. He plays FIFA. Yeah, like Mevrin. I don't, I don't even think he plays anything else besides FIFA. No, oh, yeah, he played Far Cry 3 and the for tank like game. 10 remember, minutes. Remember the tank game? Oh, yeah, he plays FIFA. 
Shock. Uh, what is it? Shell Shock Live Two. Shell Live. Yeah, that's, that's what the live. Yeah, Shell Shock Live Two, FIFA, and I guess now Town of Salem. We also play Cards Against Humanity, and that yeah. game's great. I love Cards Against Humanity. Brady, if you're watching this, we're not trying to roast you. We're it, it's kind of true though, but we're not trying to roast you. Just get a better taste of games, <laughs> please. Like literally, play more than four games for the love of Christ. Like, <laughs> how are you supposed to run a gaming channel if you only play four games? Uh, and I guess that's um, Brady. Plays Same thing with Meverin. First off, first off, can we can we talk about Meverin for a second? Can um, we do that? My viewers don't even know who Meverin is. He hasn't even debuted it on my YouTube channel yet. So that's yeah, cool. exactly. Meverin. So we we made a YouTube for him. If you don't know what it is, Meverin Ten. And I designed the. I did a designing for everyone. I did designing for my channel, Steven's channel, Brady's channel, um, uh-huh. Meverin's channel. I attempted for Sceneric, but I failed. But Steven, Steven made actually a really good logo. I made a really cool logo Sceneric. Sceneric. The triangle yeah. with the fire around it. Mm. I just couldn't get it right. I couldn't get it. Wasn't I just couldn't me. not. I just it couldn't just get to Sceneric's taste. Yeah. All right. So for Meverin, it was literally just, uh, it was so simple, but it was so nice. It was just a white circle with a blue circle in the middle and then a white M above a 10. I just liked it. It was super nice and dark blue. I have it right here, but I don't know how to show. Can I just like... I wonder. Hold on. You keep talking. I'm going to try and figure something out. Oh, oh, I think I can do this. Hold on. I think I can actually do this. You got this, man. Believe in yourself and you can accomplish anything. I got this. I got this. I didn't realize that I could actually do this within the video. I thought I had to do this before recording the video. Just do it. Nothing's impossible. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, where's... It's a desktop. Where am I... Oh, yeah, and speaking of that, no. uh, about Scenic playing Town of Salem, I have no oh, clue. Oh, oh, found it. it. Yep, that definitely found it. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. What? Yeah, it, it's giant gigantic it's it takes up like the entire screen hold oh. on hold on sorry guys sorry about that it takes up the entire screen you know jesus you know what it could be Christ. easier if you just left the link of Mebrin's channel in the description so they could find it out you didn't have to show it across the screen there you go there you go Mebrin, Mebrin 10 Mebrin 10 kool-aid man there you go Mebrin i'm just gonna leave that there now i'm the only kool-aid man here buddy no don't say my kool-aid man i'm gonna leave Mebrin 10 kool-aid man right there I didn't realize I could actually drag images while I was actually recording the video. I thought I had to set that all up before I was recording, but now I know I can do that. Sweet. All right. There you go. There's Meverin's logo. I'll just take that away now. The logo. Uh, Meverin, by the way, if you ever watch this, there's no free advertising on this channel. That's 10 cents per millisecond. <laughs> yes, MK, that's 10 cents per millisecond. I've been advertising you on this channel like three times. Come on, man. I also have your advertising here, and you've been going for 37 minutes and 46 seconds. You owe me a lot of money. No, you owe me a lot of money, too. <laughs> All right, so Let's back to Meverin, back to, yeah, back to Meverin's, uh obsession with his own type of video games, I would say. Okay, okay, so if, if you think Brady is bad with his taste in video games, like four games, Meverin plays GTA. It's not a bad game. I love that feet. game. No, no I, I'm not saying they're bad games, just the amount of games they play. Meverin plays GTA and FIFA. Those are the only games he even plays. At least Brady Actually, attempts. No, no, no. He, 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 also, he, also, he also sometimes, not as much as Brady, definitely not, but he also plays a, good, a fair bit of Shellshock Live also. And he plays a little bit of Planet. Um, but I don't blame him. A little bit of Planet's awesome. Meverin plays a little big Planet. I've never seen that. Sometimes. It's rare. It's on rare Literally occasions. Never seen. Rare occasions he, if he plays a little bit of Planet. But literally, like, the majority of games he plays are FIFA, GTA, and sometimes Shellshock. Sometimes. But he tells the stories and so on. Like, he'll be up until, like, 4 o'clock in the morning just playing FIFA. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll wake up, start playing FIFA, and he won't go to bed till like, 4 o'clock the next morning. And the entire day he's played FIFA. <laughs> then he'll wake up at, like, 12 a.m. Or 12 p.m., and he'll just rinse and repeat. Wow. Just like that. Like, he's doing this thing uh, for FIFA or whatever. He just started uh, today called Foot Champs. And we were on Skype with him when he started. And he's just like, okay, guys, you, you don't understand. You literally cannot, like, ask me questions or speak. I have to concentrate. I'm just like, uh, I've never... playing a, you're playing a game about virtual soccer. Like, chill. I don't understand the crazy about FIFA. I hate sports games. I think they're the most boring thing ever. Literally just switching between, like, uh, team players and just 
throwing a ball, kicking a ball, hitting a ball, etc. Well, you guys may think the same like, about wrestling games, but the, the, the wrestling games are just so good. I'm sorry. They just even wrestling good. is more interesting. You get to watch horses and weird Patrick stars and SpongeBob's bash chairs over each other. That's still fun. It's so fun. We get get the game. We'll get it for like PC and we'll play it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm still not gonna get WWE. I, I'm not sure about that. Come on, man. Uh, anyway, back to the Mever thing. I know Mevern's taste of games is weird, but and I know Brady's game just taste of games is weird, but at least he tries to play new games. Like he tried to play Far Cry Three. He tried. He tried to play Fallout. And he tried. He tried Fallout too. He tried. Yeah. He paid thirty bucks for Fallout, which I was really surprised. He played. He played like two minutes of it. And didn't no. touch it ever. Wait, again. which Fallout I, game was it? Fallout Four. I, I remember on Skype. Yeah, it was Fallout 4. Oh Probably my like two minutes god, bro. Never touched. I asked him, I even asked him, like, hey, man, do you still play Fallout? And he's like, yeah, man, I go over to his house, like, the next day, and I see it was deleted, and so we're going through Steam and stuff like that, and so I checked Fallout 4, it says last time played was November. <laughs> and I, I checked in February. Like, February of this year. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, he, he... It was like, okay, yeah, yeah, you've definitely been playing this. You never, sure. you never delete a game because if, if you got paid for thirty bucks of it, don't don't delete it off your computer of all places. It, at least because he got on G, he got on G two A, so at least try and resell. Actually, no, you can't really resell a code if you already bought the game. Yeah, never mind. That's stupid of me to say. <laughs> that was really stupid of me to say. <laughs> Whew. Man, it's man, we've been recording for 41 minutes, dang. We've been roasting on these two guys. Okay, we should probably move on to our next topics. Kurt, this is not, this not, this not roasting on them. Not, on, not on, on them. Whoops. On their, on not their roast... tastes on gaming. That's what. It's just roasting on their game, their taste of games, and not really even taste. Cause, I mean, if you like FIFA and uh, GTA, that's a good game, and I guess Shell Shock, I've played it a few times. It's not my favorite game, but it's fun. The only one I don't really understand is FIFA, but still, I, I know there's a lot of people who like FIFA. So it's not really their taste in games. It's just their very, very limited taste in games. Yeah. And uh, Like, if they played FIFA, but they also had, like, ten other games that were different from it that were fun, then, yeah, I don't care if you play FIFA. But if you literally only play FIFA and, like, two other games, and, like, please, buy yourself a new game. Buy yourself something, uh, a little variation, please. Stop. Get some help. Like, he, I try to get Bree to to consider uh, one of the most simple, one of the most open games that I think almost anyone can enjoy. Gary's Mod, okay? He's got, Dude. He's got a super nice gaming PC. He's got an R9 380. He's got some quad-core processor, I think an i5 or something. Don't get into and, it. And, you know, you, you have more than enough power in that to run gary's mod you could run gary's mod on a potato for god's sake a potato. and it wasn't even it wasn't even for like you know just the power of his computer i just i just tell him like man you should get gary's mod it's really funny he looked at me and he's like i really shouldn't why like, and he said it sarcastically like how are you supposed to run a game channel or play games on your friend's gaming channel if you don't play well, any games the like, thing is man. his channel is not really a gaming channel to be honest, I it like is. I like the content. He dude, he does not knock joke videos. He does a video with his cousins or whatever. Knock joke. Those those two little kids were some kids that he was. Uh, they were no, he tutors kids. That's what it was. They oh, were the kids my that he bad. Tutored. I thought they were his cousin. He told me it was his cousins at first. I don't know why he lied to me at first. Oh wait, they're his. They might be his cousins. I don't know. Well, he like well, I'm not entirely sure. I thought they were, he told me they were the kids that he tutored. Huh. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Things. But yeah, um, he, he even told me, I think, one time that it's not really a gaming channel for him. It's just he, he, he just wants to do whatever he wants on the channel. It's going to be more of a everything channel for Brady. I should Park. just. I mean, I want to put. I, uh, obviously, same. I don't want to do just gaming. I want to do fun videos. Like, I did the knock knock joke video with Brady, which made me cringe to death. Those yeah, that was probably for the record, that for was Brady's idea. I did not come up with that. If anything on my on my that channel, was, I would probably was, do just was, like challenge videos on my channel. If anything, I want to do some challenge videos. Like, nothing like if crazy. you lose, then oh. I'll make you do something crazy. That's what that's worth the recording. Like if you lose, I'll do a haunted house or something. That'll be amazing. I love that. Um, if you lose, you have to do an escape room. We could record some escape rooms, bro. Speaking of that, um, why don't we tell them the story a little bit later? 
later. Later. If we do escape rooms, though, we need some, like, GoPros or something. Yeah, I, I, I doubt the escape rooms are going to go to in June, which I'm going to we get to later. I'm not going to let um, GoPros in, but we could sneak some GoPros in, maybe. We don't know. Um, as Why long would as they let GoPros in? They, who doesn't want to record an escape room? Yeah, who but... Cares just... If people want to spoil it for themselves, then who cares? Yeah, true. And uh, now, I know a lot of places that you can record escape rooms, that all they say is don't record the codes. That you find, I think. Oh it's, yeah, like I think it's blur it or something. Yeah, just blur it out. Blur, blur, blur the codes out or whatever. I can... Yeah. Um, what were we talking about again about Brady's YouTube channel? Before I got to yeah, the... sort of. We were just talking about their like limited taste in games, and then right. YouTube channel for Brady. I guess it's yeah, it's not entirely gaming. Actually, I don't think he's done games on it yet, To actually. He does. He did the uh, Town of Salem vid with us. He did... Oh, true. Wait, is Town of Salem the only vid Not he made. did on his channel? <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, he did He did his intro, you know, the one where he, he said, like, rip his hair or whatever. Yeah, but... R.I.P. hair. Did he ever do his... Did he... did he do Cards Against Humanity? I thought he recorded that with us. He did, but I Maybe think he never uploaded it. I, I could be wrong, but I'm not going to check right now. I record, I've record. i I'm not going to lie. I've tried to record videos, and I just didn't upload them because I didn't feel like putting, editing them or you doing monster. stuff like that. Like I, I, I genuinely felt lazy in that. Like hmm. They just weren't good quality. It's like 720p, 30fps, and this is 2017. I just don't want to record and upload something like that when with this computer. And I know that I'm, I'm probably... You know, I'm doing this with my computer right now, oh but it's different. It's different because it's just a podcast, first of all. And second of all, it's just Steven wanted me to do the podcast, which not bashing. I'm actually happy that I'm finally doing a video. Dude, he's done Shell Shock and Town of Salem, and this motherfucker has more likes than me. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Yes. Yeah, but how, doesn't he only have like 10 subs or something? He has 11. He's catching up to us. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's not very hard to catch Good job, to Good us. job to Brady. Good job to Brady for getting that. I just wish you Legit, though, I, I, I know Mevrin has one sub. So you you definitely beat him there. Yeah. Mevrin, if you ever, ever come close to watching this, which I doubt he will, upload some content, dude. <laughs> By the <laughs> like, way. Like, seriously. You want to know who that Even one if it's is? only FIFA, upload something. You want to know who that one sub is? It's me. Cool. It's me. <laughs> one sub. You know what I just realized? He only has one sub. Does that mean I haven't subbed to him yet? I probably should have subbed to him. I'll do should. that later. I know he has no videos. Probably should sub to him. Um, he has like one video, and it had nothing to do with actually his actual like YouTube channel that we set up. He recorded that a while ago. It was just like, and of course it was a FIFA video. Of course. Yeah. Oh my god. The guys... only thing is though is like I could. See him being like one of those KSI or, or um, what is it CSG Comedy Shorts Game? Yeah, Comedy Shorts Gamer or KSI channels where like they do FIFA videos sometimes, and the rest of the time they do weird challenges or funny things. The only problem is he doesn't seem like the person who would like eat a hot pepper or get shot with a paintball gun or something like that. He does not That's seem never. like the person who do that. That's well, we gotta stop roasting on these people before they get mad at us. <laughs> I'm not trying to roast on them, though. I'm just trying to... It, it's constructive know, criticism. but, you know, it's the more you talk like, about it... You more... have to admit, you can't... Run it. You... Whatever. They get my. They get our point. Siri just asked for a shout-out. Subscribe to my boy, Siri Gaming. Uh, he's going to join the Skype call after the podcast, sadly, because he's doing something right now. So, um... Yeah. We need to do a podcast with Siri at some yeah, point. Yeah, we'll do a podcast with Siri. I tried, but uh, it, we, we didn't have topics, and, we, and it kind of fell apart, so we just stopped. Um, speaking of that, why don't we talk about our, do the fact, I hope we're done talking about Brady and everything before they kill us. Yeah, we're done, we're done with that. Why don't we talk about the escape room thing? If we do end up recording escape room, I want to tell my experience about the scariest escape room I went to. Just a short story, I'm going to put it in summary. Uh, he, 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 Look, okay, he I went to my, him. I went to my, uh, brother's birthday party. It was ten people, I was one of the ten. We went to an escape room, and I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, we opened the scary, there, it wasn't scary at first, um, they said there was no actors involved, we're not entirely, but they said, he said it wasn't, he's not entirely sure if there's actors involved, and that was my point, like, if I saw an actor, I was gonna roundhouse kick it to the roof, but, uh, we went to, uh, and instead you ran away, in, in short terms, there was a closet that opened the secret door, 
And that's where things finally got scary, and I shat my pants. It was a, uh, and it was a nightlight room. There was dead paintings on the wall or dead people on the wall, and out of nowhere, just balls came flying out of the wall. It hit me in the back. I elbowed the first thing behind me. Sadly, it was my brother who took it, and I bolted out of that room like there was no tomorrow. I bitched out at the last five minutes of the game. I'm not afraid to admit it. Oh, not you know I'm not gonna lie, man. You didn't tell me the full story. <laughs> This is the first time I'm hearing the full story. No, no, you didn't Are tell you me the full story. Right this now? is the first time I. This is the first time I heard the full story. You elbowed your brother. Well, no, because there was this wall that opened in the back, and oh my the God. balls. There was these bouncy balls and a stuffed animal that fell out. The balls hit me, and, and I'm not. Talking I, about, I understand I'm not talking why about you elbowed him, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm about they shot dang, out you them. elbowed your brother. They shot out of the wall, so it hit me in the back, and when I felt something on my back. And plus the noise, I elbowed the first thing behind me, and I ran. I hit that motherfucker in the ribs so hard. <laughs> he, was, he had bruised ribs throughout the entire thing. Oh, oh my god. Serious yeah. experience of my yeah. life. Um, it's called uh, Sarah's Got a Secret. Look it up. It's in uh, Boca Raton near FAU. Find it. It's, called, it's from Try and Escape. We're going to do one in a June. You know, if I do end up getting a GoPro for something like escape rooms and stuff like that, I might also use it for my Airsoft because I play Airsoft. I think it'd be cool to use it for like some of that content. Maybe I might make another channel for that because I don't want to mix that all in. But, you know. I like that. Airsoft. We should use it. Yeah, I've been to Airsoft like Soroya, Bray, Yawn. I would love to be in your Airsoft so I could one day. We'll have great funny moments and shit. Do you, do you want to play Airsoft? It's actually a lot of fun. It'll kill me, but yeah, let's do it. All right, man. It's 25 bucks, though, for entry. Oh, too much. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, we can do it. But, like, legit, though, I'll warn you ahead of time, it's actually kind of expensive if you're renting so everything. It's 25 for entry, then it's, like, another 25 for a vest or protective vest. You don't have to have a protective vest if you're okay with taking BBs to the chest and stuff like that, but still. Ooh. Actually, no, no. It's, like, it, never mind. It's, like, $5 for protective vest. You have another, like, $3 for protective mask. That is required. And it's $25 to rent the gun. And I don't have any spare guns, so I only have uh, one. Well, I'll pay for it, I guess. Um, we'll do it when we get there. So how long yeah, is the we'll podcast get there been going on? It's fifty-two minutes, almost an hour. Ooh, damn! We've been this is we've been this has been a really productive podcast. You know, we've been talking about yeah, the YouTube channels roasting on Brady and Meverin, my escape room experience. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a great uh, the updates. I think I think it's been pretty good podcast. So, and let's get to our last, well, la not last, to if we have any more topics, but I want, they have one topic, the games of 2017. Uh, we talked about this in the last failed podcast we made that you're probably never going to upload. Um, I said my, fi uh, my uh, most I anticipated... I don't that because I dropped all my cash on my computer. <laughs> I, said I don't my have most... any cash for games anymore. I just spent it all on my computer and my <laughs> setup. I don't have any cash anymore. I can't afford any games in well, 2017. Well, I, 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 I got you, bro, if, if you need money. Um, no, bro, I, I want you to save your money for the computer because I want us to both have computers. I have eighty dollars at this point. I'm so far away from the computer; it's not even funny. But um, you know, if we, if it's possible, then maybe I could get there in time. Never stop believing, Steven. Don't stop copyright. Never stop believing. Uh. <laughs> anyway, back to the games. I said I like, just lost my channel to a copyright strike. Don't stop copyright at all. <laughs> all right well so what we're saying, anyways games that i do want games that i do want so basically i haven't gotten any game the last new the newest game i got was the division back in march that's the newest I hate game that i've game ever gotten. passion if you don't know that guys i hate that game i'm sorry i, I don't care how what you say about it i actually like the game i like the game well, i like yeah, the division kill me everyone has their kill me no matter what you want to do i like the division i thought it was hey, a good they game. have their own fan base so you're cool there you know, they have a anyway, so yeah, that's that's about the newest game I got. Since then, I started really saving up for a computer because I almost dropped two thousand dollars on just the computer alone, you plus whatever it costs for my me. setup. That's kind of surprising. So, so the games that I do really want to get, I know some of them are outdated. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but I still want to play them. Are Watch Dogs Two, Battlefield One. Um, I want to get Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah. What else was there? That actually might be it. Uh, you said you you might get Resident Evil Seven. By the way, if you guys don't know, and mo my most anticipated game in 2017 was Resident Evil Seven, but already not getting. Not well. 
I know what game I'm getting next. I, th I think it's a good, it's just, it was cool to watch, especially on your channel. It was really funny to watch, but I it just doesn't. I'm not into those kind of games. But I forgot to praise you for I watching think... my live stream, so thank you for that. By the way, part, though, I'm just gonna put this out. My favorite part of Resident Evil Seven. Favorite part of Resident Evil Seven was the room with the clown that ends up writing into your arm and stuff. That scared the crap out of me. I had no clue it was gonna do I... that. Yeah. I forgot, did it write in your arm when you were doing the, the VHS flashback or when you went in as Ethan? Um, it actually could go both ways. If you don't watch the VH, VHS flashback, then Ethan ends up getting his arm cut. And in the VHS, it actually ends up the same way. All you have to yeah, do is watch it. You already VHS. know the password. And you don't have to find the, the feather for the clown because yeah, you already know the password. So, yeah, that's why. And now. Who hasn't played it yet? He has the password. But there's your password. There's millions of, of doors that take passwords, but that's the password. Um. So yeah, <laughs> that's the password. I so yeah. Well, I thought there were more games that I wanted. Did I really only want three games? Like, Even I. Did you ever get Doom? I'm confused at myself right Overwatch, now. Overwatch. Doom. I didn't get Doom. I I didn't. I don't like. I Good games like I missed out on. I mean, you didn't, yeah, no, I thought oh, Overwatch I, is really rate, overrated, but I would still get it. I think it's it's not a bad game, I, but I agree with you. It's way overhyped. I don't understand yeah. where all the came And from. here come the dislikes. <laughs> Poor and game. our channels are now deleted. I hear just everyone clicking the dislike button. Everyone's calling us Nazis. The Wall Street Journal hates us. And Season 2 of Scare Us has, has oh, been... They're calling us rapists. Uh, we're going to have to do our Killer Keemstar intros. Here we go. Just No, no, God, no. Don't bring that back. <laughs> what is He's up, dead. Up, Leave Lizard it that Nation? Way. I'm your host, the Gaming Lizard. Let's get... No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. And now you've officially lost all your subs. <laughs> there goes all my subs. Gone. Gone, gone. All right. Anyways, I think is that all we wanted to talk about? Well, because actually, it's been have, uh, 56 minutes. My games, I want. I said, oh yeah, yeah like right. I said, Resident Wait, Evil Seven. Same more. I missed. I already have the game, so yeah. Um, but my most anticipated game now is Horizon Zero Dawn, but that game came out and I'm missing it right now. But I'm gonna get that soon. R um, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, yeah, I also. I also really wanted Horizon Zero. Did I just say Horizon? I meant Horizon Zero Dawn. The only problem is I don't have a PS4. I have an Xbox, Wii U, and now a PC, I guess. Yeah. That's my consoles. Wow. I want to get the new Switch. Oh, there, there's a game that I was really anticipating. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah. yeah the I Switch love actually Zelda. works this favorite. time. The Switch has not worked for yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. I might not get the Switch for that, though, because there's not many games I want on it, and they have it on the Wii U anyways. Dude, so. the Switch looks amazing. I would get the Switch, but my brother's getting it, and they said you can't have two consoles at the same time, which kind of sucks in my house. But, uh... Yeah. uh Switch, though... It I'm looks really good. good. It yeah. definitely looks really good. I would definitely want to get it. Uh, I'm just afraid that it might end up being a little gimmicky, but it, it definitely... It was so hyped, I don't see how it could. But at the same time, it's I, a really I, good if I remember correctly, the Wii. That's why. It's a great concept. I love the idea, and I like the HD. I remember watching the HD rumble thing where, like, if you just move the controller, you can feel where the balls are and how many um, balls are in, like, a box or something, like marbles or whatever. I thought that was awesome. I think that's super cool. Is... Another game that's coming out apparently later this year, like, towards December-ish, is uh, Mario Odyssey or something like that. Mario Odyssey? I never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. You should look it up. It looks really good. I actually I'll would look like it to up get afterwards. that. Uh, my most anticipated game. I know what my most anticipated game. Obviously, it has to be Friday the Thirteenth because this has been extremely long time coming for that game. Friday the Thirteenth. Everyone's been waiting for it. We still don't know the release date. It's coming out this year. We still don't know. And I'm proud to announce I'm getting that for PC. That that's a game that I'm not getting for console. That is a PC game I need. So that might mean I have to get it then. So yep, you're getting it. That I can play with you. It's really. It looks like a, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's inspired yeah. by Dead by Daylight, obviously. Well, no, it's not because because it was in development as Dead Light, Dead by Daylight was in development, but it still looks like a really fun game, and I really want it. But is it like is it a similar game to Dead by Daylight? Friday the Thirteenth. No, is it a similar game oh. to Dead by Daylight? Um, in as in a lot of aspects it is, but in a lot of aspects it isn't because it's just straight up more scarier. Because Jason is much more of a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, since you can tell. And the best part Hurt. is you can fight back, but in the end it's not going to matter. 
because he can't die. He'll still hunt you down. Yeah, that's the best part. You could, there's a part in the gameplay trailer where you're hiding under a bed, and he starts walking in and then looking around. And, and as he's about to leave, he turns around and sees you there. So scary. Um, I'm a big horror guy, um, game guy, and the reason why is because I barely get horror games, and that's why I need I need to get that game. I just need to. I'm also I'm not I'm not very much of a horror game guy. Our big difference. Not into that. Outlast Two is another game coming out this year. Outlast Two. That's been a long time coming. I can't believe they're even making a second one. Surprising. Uh, Wait, I was two was what? It's not already out. No, it's not already. The demo came out actually, All right. um, but I missed it. Okay. Because I didn't have my PS4 at the time, I think. Yeah. We have officially been recording for one hour and twenty five seconds. All right. That's that's. You sound good. I think we talked wait, about wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. There's one more topic. Oh. What, what, what? I, it's morally concerned to me and Ratsa Productions. This is the probably going to end the podcast. Mm. I was going to save it for the end, and uh, me and Ratsa Productions, um, my brother is really good friends with him. That's how we met. His name is Christian Wood, if you guys don't know his real name. Um, he's a really cool guy. He does film thing. He wants to become a film guy when he grows up. You know, um, he wants to do, not direct movies. I think he wants to um, write, write movies and everything. Uh, and we've been planning this for a while, and I think it's com- actually going to happen. We're actually making a Resident Evil 7 fan-made film. We have no clue when it's coming out. I'm not even sure if it's going to come out, but it looks like it's actually working its way up to be actually a full movie. And I'm really excited. I'm going to play as Jack, surprisingly. He cast me as the role. So I'm actually pretty surprised he cast me as Jack. I got to work on my um, my uh, Jack accent, though, because, like, you done fucked yourself now, boy. Um, it's, not, it's not really good. I got to work on it. But uh, I think I can make it. I can, I can make it work. I'm really excited about it. Um, my also my brother's girlfriend's gonna be the makeup artist. And her name's Nani. That's gonna be super fun. And at the end of this podcast, maybe I'll show a trailer to it. It's not really a trailer because we have no footage yet. But I'm just gonna show a little clip of inspiration, probably. And uh, this clip that I send the Skype chat before Sebastian, if you don't remember. And, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. And yeah, that's that's what that's the announcement that I actually completely forgot until now. I just remembered because I looked in the list that I made. I still can't believe we filled up the actual hour and two we, minutes. We, we had a lot to talk about. It was pretty productive, and we didn't even need topics. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so, I'm I'm really surprised that's already been an hour. <laughs> I did not. That did not feel like an hour to me. That's been crazy. <laughs> it has been crazy. All right, so I guess that's the end of the podcast, huh? Who's doing the outro? <laughs> I can get. Well, I did. You you were telling me earlier that you don't really do outros you don't say like see well, you later no, guys if Bye-bye. you want me to practice I'll do it if you want me to practice I'll do it <clears throat> alright you take it away then alright <clears throat> thank you all for watching guys please subscribe for more please leave a like subscribe to MK1 Gaming's channel link in the description below um, and take it away MK that's all I got to say I'm really bad at this <laughs> alright thank you guys very much for watching the podcast and uh, yeah I guess this is our return I'll probably be uh, I'm not going to make a video in between sitting right now on the computer because I, I i really want to start you know producing better quality content so i'll just start making stuff with the computer and i'll start recording games now because i can actually really record stuff because when i did it here on this old laptop it lagged a lot so that's why i refrained from recording games like that so i guess though yeah now we can start getting back in business uh, no, this is not really a return video stuff. for me. This is just an update video. Once Not a Hero comes out, then I'm going to get back into it, which is hopefully... For me, it's pretty much a return. Stuff's going to be coming back really soon. Yeah. Been within the week. All right. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you... Actually, no, I want to come up with someone else. There's always that. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Uh, uh, I'll see you guys later. Stick till the end for the Resident Evil 7 trailer. And, uh... Yeah, say your catchy line. I don't really have a catchy line for the ending. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Stick to, stick to the end for the trailer. Bye, guys. See, see you later, alligator.